What is going on guys? In this episode I'm going to start building an outside tortoise run for our Herman's tortoise, Daisy. Okay, so here she is in her indoor exhibit. If anyone has uh, followed this before, you'll know that. So we've got a Royal Python enclosure here that is uh, still being built. Got to put the glass in and, and the heat and stuff like that. But um, so she has got this area here. She's absolutely trashed it. This is towards the end of the day. So she's absolutely trashed it. She's spilt her water bowl. Oh, there's water everywhere. There's food here. But anyway, um, she has a hatch that currently has got insulation in there but that hatch leads to outside so it's always the plan for this just to be indoor and night quarters and then her to have a run outside so we will go and look outside and see what we've got to go and do okay so here is the insulation I was talking about this leads on to a ramp that I built last year I kind of knocked that up quick and I'm going to actually probably make this side a bit taller to match the rest of the uh, the run so that's her that's currently her ramp down uh, and then what I've done is I've, I've cornered off a bit of the the run well this is her, her area so it measures about well these these are all 2.4 meter lengths of wood so you know we've got almost probably four meters in length there 2.4 at the back probably almost three two and a half three meters there so it's a nice big square we're gonna make we're gonna do cool stuff inside it but at the moment all I'm worried about is getting these timbers built put in put into the ground I've started to dig as you can see I've got them laid out but um, I've got to clear this rubbish she actually will eat this uh, in moderation she can eat the odd petal but I'm gonna sweep up most of these petals but as you can see I've started to bury this in so it stays level along the ground same as that one there uh, and this is going to be the height so these are 150 mil so 300 uh, millimeters in total um, so that's I don't know what that is in inches but yeah 300 mil um, in total there which is plenty tall enough for her um, if you are going to keep a tortoise outside you want to take into consideration the um you want to take into consideration uh, things like foxes cats that sort of stuff uh, not being able to get inside the enclosure but because daisy's this is a daytime area for her um she's locked in at night i'm not worried about that um we, we're all home quite a lot so my wife's at home all the time so we, we've never had a fox for two years um, certainly not during the day when in, they're gonna do anything to her. So I'm gonna put the camera over there and I'm gonna start building the uh, the timber.
Okay, so I think that'll do for today. Uh, I'm actually going to remake this because it's crap. <laughs> I don't like it. I could do better. That was a rush job last year just to get her out for a couple of weeks before uh, the weather went crap. But um, yep, so we've got the posts in. They're rock solid. Everything's secured to the wall, dug into the ground a little bit. Uh, done the same at the back here exactly the same kind of technique I haven't fastened it to the reptile room because this cladding makes it quite difficult to uh, to get anything there so I've sunk that into the floor um, yeah it wasn't too bad actually there's a it's quite a lot of concrete beneath the floor level of this so uh, digging can be a bit hard sometimes but apart from that I would say we're good so in the next video I will build a build a new ramp and we will clear all of this and we'll make it a little bit more uh, a little bit more like a little piece of southern France uh, anything better than that so that is uh, yeah that'll be the next video thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like and subscribe